What is going on linear algebra bros? In this video I'm going to show you how to solve a linear system using this particular matrix. I first want to point out that this matrix is in our REF format. The first non-zero digit in each entry is a 1 and above the leading ones and below them uh, we have zeros. Okay so this is an RREF format. Now let's assume that the system uh, is put into this augmented matrix format. Okay so I'll include the augment bar there and that the variables corresponding to the system, uh, there are going to be four of them, are X, Y, Z, and W. Since this is already in RREF format, there's really no more row operations that we can do to help us get specific values of the variables. Um, so with, with that said, what you might want to consider doing is jumping out of a matrix setting into an equation setting. So for instance, row 1 tells us that x plus 1 fourth z is equal to negative 1 and row 2 tells us that y plus 1 fourth z is equal to 0. Now <clears throat> it appears as though there are two leading variables and that is the case. One of our leading variables is x and the other leading variable is y and there appears to be Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot something in the row 2 equation. Plus w equals 0. There we go. And there appear to be two free variables, namely z and w. So we're going to write the solution in terms of parametric equations, in which case there are going to be two parameters defined. Okay, so with that, how about we let z equal t and w equal s? If that's the case, then uh, the row 1 equation can be rewritten as x plus 1 fourth t equals negative 1. And isolating x, we get a parametric equation for the variable, so negative 1 fourth t minus 1. And with the <coughs> row 2 equation, we would have y plus 1 fourth t plus s equals 0. And moving these over to the other side, we get a parametric equation for y, namely y equals negative 1 fourth t minus s. So we have four parametric equations. And as I've been demonstrating in class, uh, this third step in this conveyor belt process is really just to get things organized. Let's write out our first parametric equation. It's for x, negative 1 fourth t minus 1. Then the parametric equation for y, negative 1 fourth t minus s. z was set equal to t, and w was set equal to s. And that would be our solution to this linear system, which consists of parametric equations. So this implies infinitely many solutions. I also want to show you that you can write uh, an n-tuple corresponding to these parametric equations. Uh, namely, it'd be an ordered four-tuple, since there are four variables. So generically speaking, a solution could be written as x, comma, y, comma, z, comma, w. But since we have parametric equations for each of these, we can replace the variable with those parametric equations. So negative 1 fourth t minus 1 in replacement of x, negative 1 fourth t minus s in replacement for y, t in replacement of z, and s in replacement of w. Okay, so this would be another way of expressing your solution to the system. And that's where the pain and torture, I'm sorry, fun and excitement ends for this video. If you have any questions whatsoever about it, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching.